it's me Brooke welcome or welcome back to my channel um so you probably noticed this so it says like a name on it that I just don't want to show um for privacy reasons and stuff so this is what I had to resort to try to ignore it I know it's probably hard to ignore but just try um this is just what I had to resort to because I was too lazy to change into another shirt anyway um today in this video I'm going to be basically just like um updating you guys a little bit on how my life is going um especially involved with um school and just opportunities through school and um mainly about like my video production uh stuff that's going on and yeah that's pretty much it and maybe some advice i'll be giving you guys so yeah let's just get started so i'm just gonna talk about what has happened recently and then i'll get into um more video production related stuff um, and maybe some advice, um, from, you know, from, like, it's coming from me, um, as a video production student, as a senior, like, that sort of advice, so it's more geared towards career stuff and school stuff, um, so hopefully you stay till the end of this video, um, cause I, I think it's a pretty interesting video, some pretty interesting information that I'm gonna be saying, um, and just like opportunities that I've been, uh, you know, experiencing or that I will experience that I think some of you guys might be interested in and maybe you guys can eventually have some similar things happen to you when you're older um, or if you're, you know, the same age as me, it might be, you know, opportunities are probably coming around for you too. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna get into some things that happened recently. So. Um, I still have a job, which is good because I know for a lot of people, even including myself, even though I only work one day a week, um, it's hard to work when you're also in school because, you know, you want to be able to focus on one thing at a time, but there's times in life that you're going to have to multitask, whether you work only one day a week or you work three days or four days a week and you're still in school, whether that's college or high school. Um, so it's definitely something to balance that can be hard to balance um, no matter how often or not often you work um, and no matter what job you have like I'm a cashier but I'm also like um, on the floor of the stores meaning that like I help out customers and I say hi to customers I fix things on the shelves like I do you know just like floor stuff and sometimes I'm at the cashier at the cash register all day or some of the day and I get to interact with people more and I get to you know see what people are getting and it's a lot more interactive and fun when I'm at the register I think um so that's been my experience lately at work is I'm just working one day a week instead of two or three days like I was in the summer and um it's you know good so far the money is pretty good um and it's you know not like a really hard job or anything and um now moving on to like school stuff like sort of college stuff um i've been like getting on that um i requested a letter of recommendation to my video production teacher he knows about it and everything um so that's really amazing because he's gonna do one for me and probably for everybody in that class um because it's a really small class and you know it would kind of be stupid not to ask him for you know a I don't know why I can't speak. It would be kind of stupid to not ask him for a letter of recommendation because we see him all the time, every single day. He knows us the best out of all our other teachers. We, meaning like me and the other kids in the class. Um, it's just a very interactive um, class that you, you always work together, um, you know, pr on projects, on shows, on scripts, on you know, outside of school stuff, um, you know, for concerts, for sports, you're always working together. Um, you know, on certain projects, of course, you're working alone or just with one other person or something, but there's always gonna be room for teamwork. There's always gonna be room for interaction with your classmates and your friends. So it's just a really, really good class. Um, I highly recommend taking a program like that even if you're not into video production and you're into like nursing or cosmetology if your school offers that take it now because once you go to college if you go to college um, and you want to do something like that why not get a head start in 
high school if your high school offers it if not then of course like start in college because you can never start too late but it definitely gives you a head start and more basic knowledge of what you're going into if you start it in your junior or senior year of high school i started video production in my junior year so i've been doing it for almost two years i love it i love being on camera as you can probably tell because i have a youtube channel um i love hosting shows i love um, doing some technical work not everything but I do love some of it um, and you get to you know that's when you also get to be part of like a team or a group is when you're doing technical stuff because if you're doing um, you know audio you could be right near the graphics person and you know you're not gonna be goofing around while doing it but at least you have people around you just in case if you like you know really need to fix something quick or need to ask somebody something then somebody's right there to help you um, so that's definitely a good thing about doing technical work is that you're not usually isolated by yourself. You're usually with a whole group of people, you know, doing different things from each other, but you can always help each other out um, if anything happened or if you had a question. So basically getting back to what I was originally saying about the letter of recommendation uh, from my teacher, you definitely need those for college. You need at least one or two. It depends on what college you go to. Um, some might want three or four. So you have to kind of get a list together of different teachers that you have already asked that have said yes, because you can't do it without their approval. Um, so, you know, ask teachers that you've had in the past or that you have now, if you guys have a good connection and if you're good in that class, then that is a good, like those are good reasons to request that teacher for the letter. Um, but yeah, I, I recommend like asking a English teacher or a history teacher um, or, you know, a video production teacher or cosmetology or nursing or, uh, you know, like a vet teacher if you have like a, a vet class, like an animal science sort of class, like those classes are special too. Um, cause if you're not in like a big program like I am, um, for, you know, whatever you're interested in, like the things I listed off and if you're in like a, just like a class for it and it's not necessarily a program, that's still a, a, a good opportunity um, and a good reason to ask that teacher. Like I know at my school, animal science, I think is just a class, but I think there's like a veterinary, is that how you say a veterinary um, program? Um, I could be wrong, but I think there is. Uh, so yeah, like if you just take the class and not the program necessarily, it's still just as good and you have a good opportunity and you have, you know, a good reason to ask that teacher you know what i mean i also visited a college recently that is over four hours away from where i live so it's very far um the college was like cool you know like certain aspects of it were very cool uh a famous um like news reporter type of guy went to um this school so it, that's also really awesome and um yeah, I mean, overall, I think I liked it. I don't think I'm gonna go there because like, not that I, I don't know if I'd get accepted anyway, but if I was accepted, I don't know if I'd go there because it's far and I have a boyfriend and I have my family and my friends and I don't think I could go that far. The furthest I'd go is probably two hours, two and a half hours. And even that is still like a drive. Um, if I were to come up on weekends or, you know, like from my college to my house on weekends, it's still a drive, um, but definitely not as far and not as bad as four hours or five hours or something like that. Like that's a bit much, so it's definitely a commitment. Wherever you go is a commitment, but the further you go I think is a bigger commitment because you're going away from people that you've known for years or, you know, just going away from a familiar town, a familiar place and familiar faces. And that's definitely a challenging thing that not a lot of people can do and commit to. So yeah, overall, um, the visit to the college was pretty good, but I just don't know if I couldn't commit to a school that's that far. It would definitely be something to think about, but I would have to like take a lot of time to think about it because I've been thinking about it since the day I visited the school and I'm leaning more towards no. Um, I might still apply there, but I just don't think going that far is for me. Um, and I, I said why, you know, because of my friends, even if they're going away, I still want to be like, 
you know connected with them and not too far away from them um and my boyfriend i know that he's probably going to college not far away from here so i don't want to be super far from him and not be able to see him for a long period of time um and even just like my family you know so um i think a lot of other people that are my age or even you know a little bit younger that are thinking about college um feel the same way because going far is such a big commitment and you know it's not like you can be home every weekend at that point because if you're four hours away like that's a really far trip to come home every weekend that's a lot of gas that's a lot of time um you know a lot of money so that would be something that just wouldn't really happen um plus you might have things going on on weekends at your school if you are in a video production program or if you do sports you couldn't really leave for a weekend you got to kind of be around so you know that's why it's even more of a commitment so basically i'm just trying to schedule visits with other schools um closer to me and i'm just trying to figure things out uh look into every college's program that i'm interested in and that's all i can really do for now until i apply to these colleges um, but I can't apply until I visit their college or read up about their, you know, read their info about their video program because I'm going to go into college and do video production. Um, so that's also pretty exciting. And there's colleges I definitely have in mind that I know I'm either going to visit or apply to or, you know, read more information about because I visited, you know, like certain websites, like certain college websites and um, read about their programs and some of them are really good and some I can probably find a better option you know what I mean like um, that's all you can really do though is just read information visit and that's how you can determine whether you want to apply to their school not apply so with video production um, we actually just did a show today and it was like a spooky edition like Halloween edition of a show we do and um, we made these horror short films and it was really fun. Um, there was a lot of really good ones. And overall it was a really great experience because that was our first time doing something like that. And um, yeah, it's just a really cool thing to be a part of and a different thing to film that we don't usually do. And it was just a creative project that um, isn't gonna happen again like we're gonna have creative projects but we're not gonna have another like halloween one like that so um it was like a one one chance once you know once in a year type of project um so that's also why it was very special and um the whole set of the show was really cool i wish i took a picture because i probably would have included it in the video um but anyway uh it was just really like nicely decorated my teacher did a really good job with that and whoever helped with it it was probably a couple of juniors and the other video production class that helped set up and yeah it was overall a really really good show and all of our shows are very good um we have four or five different shows that we cycle through um so we do a few a month we don't do one you know every single week but we have been like on our show grind recently we have kind of been doing that we just did like three shows or four shows recently and usually it's not all jammed like that together unless there's a lot going on and there has been a lot going on um because it's still like sort of the beginning of the school year so there's events going on and there's you know sports going on you know football is pretty much over basketball is going to start so we're going to cover the basketball games um we've been covering volleyball games i'm actually directing the uh coverage of the volleyball game tomorrow so that is really cool because it'll be my second time doing that and yeah there's just like a lot going on and a lot of opportunities that i'm getting to experience and have and there is talk going around from my teacher and um some other people involved that <clears throat> excuse me that um i might be able to voice something like a podcast for a certain company i don't even know the company i wouldn't even be able to say it but i don't even know the company where it is like i don't i don't know any of like the the specific information not that i you know can say it anyway but you know what i mean like i don't i don't know it anyway um but if that does definitely happen that is probably the best experience that i'm gonna get this year outside of 
video production in the school like this is taking place outside of school probably on weekends or a weekend out of a month you know like I'm not sure how often it's gonna be if it does happen um, but it's still just like a great thing that um, is probably gonna happen uh, hopefully soon you know we're just kind of waiting on information and waiting on people's answers um, so I can update you guys in a little while on that um, but yeah, I just, I hope it happens because it's really cool. So my advice um, to kind of conclude this video, my advice is to participate in school events, whether that's sports or video production, if you're interested in it, um, and if your school has it, um, or do it in college or do something similar in college like photography or take it in school now. And at least you'll have that experience under your belt if you ever want to go into it for a career or in college for, you know, an activity to do. Um, participate in your community, do volunteer hours, like, you know, community service to get volunteer hours, um, which I have to work on, um, but I've done it in the past and it's a good experience. You can do it with your friends, you can do it with people that you know, you can do it with people that you don't know, but you might become friends with them because of it. Um, and you might be able to do community service with other people um, from different schools if they're going to your town or you're going to their town and doing community service you know so you can meet new people um, see familiar faces and get more experience and um, help more people and also um, participate in like just school spirit sort of stuff especially as a senior that's very important whether you're a sport person or not or an artistic person or not um, just like participate in some of the school events and um, you know if there's a pep rally don't be lame and miss out on it whether it's your first one your fifth one your last one of uh, your high school career um, don't miss out on it unless you're like sick or something um, but you know, just little things like that, like you wanna be part of it in some way, whether that's, you know, just showing up or um, planning it or being like, you know, just like a big part of it, no matter like how you're part of it, you're still going to be part of it. So sorry, I'm like repeating myself, but that's like the only way I can get like my advice and my message across. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, please like, comment, share and subscribe and peace out.